Yeah, yeah, my new documentary. I'm going to do a tour of Toronto. It's like probably a washroom or something, and like try and uh, and, and like uh, film like the dynamic in each different washroom and the different sorts of people. Yeah. But, yeah. I call it public washroom. <laughs> Uh, there's a toilet in the Parswood complex that's just opened. It's a bowl, it's a cinema. Um, they're very new, very modern. And uh, basically what you've got is you've got a sheet of glass on the urinal. Uh, and behind them are TV screens that show uh, various things. Sporadically it shows MTV. And uh, if you time your visit to the toilet, you can actually urinate on your favourite celebrities or your least favourite celebrities. Um, Jimmy O, one of my friends, did uh, managed to piss on Bowie and Jagger. There's a girls' washroom and there's a boys' washroom. But then the boys' washroom is also open for girls. It's like a girls' and boys' washroom. And then there's one just for girls. It's like this huge room and it was all covered in white tiles. And they have like 20,000 handlebars. I don't know if you've ever been on the train, but there's like all these handlebars to like hold yourself up. And then it's got these kind of like dividers, but they don't have doors on them. And they're only about up to your neck. Washroom or the girls slash boys washroom. It, there's a there's a you, urine everywhere. And you put your feet on either side of the trough. I, mean, I hate urine on the floor, and like you can't let your pants touch it. You can't do anything. You're just kind of like hovering. So I pretty much had to do like this like whole like Olympic Olympic gymnastics thing to like hold myself up. Whoever's way in front of you, pissing or shitting or doing whatever they're doing, you get to see what floats down the river of. Um, Manulife Centre, washrooms in Toronto, Ontario. They're my favourite washrooms in the city. I've actually been known to make a detour if I needed to go to the washroom, uh, cycle up here just so I can go in because they are uh, they're beautiful and plush. They're clean regularly and it's all automatic and hands free, hands free flushing, and hands free washing, which you've got to love basically. I mean, I know it's not necessarily a man thing to do, but uh, but I, I'm I'm all for it. like if there's no urinal and it's just a toilet bowl, then like I think guys like you know they should basically sit, you know, or at least or at least like in public washrooms crouch because toilet bowls weren't really designed for like standing and peeing into. It's kind of like it's like I don't know if you ever seen like Niagara Falls and then like the Maid of the Mist and it's like you get like all that mist comes up and stuff like that totally happens. I knew two guys once who went in and had a contest to see how high they could go yeah. and eventually they were going up so much it actually sort of like splashed back into one of their eyes. If you can visualise bending down with your trousers round your ankles and trying to aim, if you're a woman, yeah, which you're not, yeah. um, into a, a hole, it is really not very amusing. I, I think this is, my, this is more of a gender difference I think but because males I think just tend to want to get in the and get out as quickly as possible. Um, whereas, well, with, no, with women, it's more of a sort of like go in there and pamper and. Basically, you take a whole roll like this and wrap it around your hand, and then you just put it like below your derriere so <laughs> you catch all of your poo so it doesn't make that splash noise when it goes into the bowl. It's kind of gross, but like you don't get it in your hands if you're careful. I don't really shit until. Noise is being made, you know, it's kind of like, holding, oh, yeah, come on, yeah, wash your hands, okay, yeah, get out. The stalls were at the far end of the bathroom, yeah. and that's where the window was too, so it was totally brightly lit. Yeah. And you'd walk into the bathroom and immediately see who was in, in there. And it was, what was really gross is you started, like, knowing the super personal smells of everyone you worked with. Oh, like, oh man, that must be Bruce again. I'm in the stall, sitting down, having a shit. I'm hearing a bit of, like, this knocking something. What's this person doing? He looked to my side, nothing. No feet either. I'm like, what's that knocking? Still doing my thing. Still hearing the knocking. I'm like, what's that knocking? Look up. All I see is this dude looking straight down at me, and this knocking is the knocking of his hand. And I'm thinking, of course, he's got to be masturbating. So this guy is watching me jerking off as I'm shitting. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. I then had to completely strip, uh, take off my jumpsuit and everything else 
um, so that I could go to the loo. People have been known to just kneel on the thing on the sink when there's been no urinals for it. The public washroom in the Hyatt Hotel is super posh. You sit there and powder your nose as if we still do that. I went in there with my sister once. We just sat on those stools for a little while and had a little chat. I hold it in usually. I don't use public washrooms for that. That's disgusting. Some people would think that's just a totally weird thing to do. Control your bodily needs. <laughs> you pissed twice in six days. I don't like the environment. I don't like sitting there. What, you make a noise or something, and people are like outside the stall, and they're all like listening. Yeah. I associate it with doing my own home, so I'm uncomfortable with doing public places. I don't hold it in, it just goes away. It just passes. And I just go that night at home. I think I keep focused for the test. I think that man died in the think if you fell down the toilet, you'd never be found again. So it's the eternal battle between the savage and the civilized man. Yes.